Hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the kitchen and to day 10 of the Aero Garden update. I've got my coffee here. I'm gonna check in on what's happening with the Aero Garden, but also answer a question. I did have a comment from a viewer of the channel asking why does the Aero Garden have different color lights? So if we'll show it on the camera, you'll notice that the LED lights in the top of the like the light panel on the Aero Garden has, there's mostly white, but there is also uh, blue and there's a f uh, some red lights, LED lights on there as well. So the question I had was, why are there different color lights? And I had to do a bit of research for this because I'm not a, I'm a, I'm a cook. I mean, I do YouTube videos. I, I'm, not a, I'm not a gardener. This is the first thing I've ever grown inside. So I had to do a bit of research. I did find some on the internet on why there is different color LED lights. This takes me back to science class in like in high school, learning about this stuff. So basically, um, red and blue lights in colors, what are better for your plants? So plants need all the spectrum of lights. So think of it as a, when possibly, I guess when you see, when you see a rainbow, there's all those, all the different colors. So light isn't just white, there's different colors of light in the spectrum. And plants in order to grow need different uh, lights from, from that to, to flourish. So I'll read, I'm gonna read on here, bear with me. I'm learning this as we go here too as well. So basically what it is, is, um, there's no best color or light for your, for your, for your grow lights. That's why there's a mix. So they need, they need to kind of need everything. Um, so basically what it is, there is uh, three major colors that your uh, plants use is red, blue, and green. Uh, plants don't absorb much green uh, light because that's what gets reflected and that's why we see plants as being, uh, leaves as being green. So that's kind of interesting. I did not know that. Um, so that bean is basically the, the reason their leaves don't look to us like either like blue or red mean they're absorbing those th that light into their um, into the leaves for nutrients. Kind of interesting. Um, so effects on uh, the blue light for the plants is related to chlorophyll production. So if you, plants receive lots of blue blue lights, they'll have strong, healthy stems and leaves, uh, and and goes that goes down into the roots because. That's what helps it grow. So that's why the light is uh, blue for the, um, makes them a stronger, a stronger plant. And now the red light is responsible for making the plants flower and produce fruit. So the red lights that are on there, uh, it's essential for the plants to grow, to help them produce, to make, make fruit. And it also does help in the early stages is for the seed germination, root growth, and the, uh, the, if it was a bulb plant, the development of the bulbs. So kind of interesting, interesting to figure out why there is different color LEDs. I just assumed light is light, but uh, that is the answer to your question. So I did uh, find, find this online. I will leave a bit more information uh, about what I learned on the different color LEDs down in the description below. If you wanted to read further, um, gets a bit nerdy, a uh, bit sciencey, <laughs> but uh, though that is the answer to the question of um, why there's different color lights. Now, the reason there is different color lights as well too, because this is growing inside, so it's not getting a normal, what you would have as normal light. Now, even I guess what I've learned from reading this is even plants that are next to a window, the windows may actually filter out some certain uh, spectrum of light that the plants need. So if you have, for example, and the one, one example that I did find is, uh, Christmas cactus. So if everybody has like a Christmas cactus at home, where it normally will bloom in, in around Christmas, uh, Christmas time, the, bl the blooms will come out in December time. And, and this answers my question why a lot of times mine has never bloomed is if it's not flowering, it's probably, uh, it's lacking red light. So actually what I'm gonna try and do is get a, another LED panel for my Christmas cactus just to see if that actually works, if we can get the full spectrum of light. So it's obviously not getting enough through the windows to be able to blossom. So kind of interesting. I will post more of that information down in the description below and you can give it a read. And hopefully that answers the question on why the lights are a different color. We'll show them when I do the update here. There's mostly white in the LED panel, but there's a few red on each side and there's a couple of blue LEDs as well in the Aero Garden. So let's get into the update. This is update day number 10, uh, and we're starting to see some action here. If you watched the video yesterday, well, we, we answered why you, when and why you take off the domes of the Aero Garden light. 
And then we showed the biggest one I'm looking at here right now is still the dill, um, but the basil is really, really catching up. So let's take a look at the update. Okay, here we go. This is day, this is the 10th day update, but this is nine days planted. So we have been planted for nine, nine full days here. It's still the morning time. And we have five more days before we have to put in the liquid plant food to into the, the arrow garden. And uh, we've got, let's just show what we've got here. So yesterday we took off the, the dill in the back, that's on the back there. And you can see it's actually come up a bit more. We've got like three, three sprouts coming up from the dill. So that one's really showing some, some action. And I'll turn, I've got some, I don't want to lift this up because I've got the, the condensation coming up nice, isn't nice in there, but we've got the, this is the Thai basil and it's popped up past the, past the paper there of the, uh, the cover on the, uh, the seed pod. So that one is really coming up. And then in the back, we've got the Genovese basil and that's popped up as well. So we've got some, we've got some good action going here. We'll start to see, I, I, I think within the next probably four or five days, we'll probably have to take the domes off of the basil because those seem to be coming up pretty good. And nothing yet on the mint. We haven't seen much action. That's supposed to be six to 10 days. So we're right in the mark, but uh, I haven't seen anything happening from the mint yet. So we'll see if that actually, uh, maybe that one's not gonna be the one that doesn't sprout. Um, and then we've got, this one is thyme at the front here, and I can just start to now see the tiny, the tiny green of the thyme. I'll take that off so we can see. It's a bit dark in there. I think in a couple days, we'll see that a bit better. And then the last one is curly parsley, but that still doesn't sprout between 20, until 21, 28 days. And obviously we're still far away off. Now I am gonna try and show you the different lights. Uh, now it might get, um, the only thing is it might get a bit bright for the camera. I'm not sure how well this is going to show, but we'll show you the, the LED panel. It might not film properly, but as you can see, I think you can, hopefully it works, uh, is the majority of the LED panel is white. And then in the middle part, there's on each side, there's three red LEDs and one blue LED. And those are the different uh, colors of the Aero Garden LED panel. Hopefully that shows up in the camera. It might get kind of weird when we, uh, after we upload it to YouTube. So there we go. That is the update day nine of growing of the Arrow Garden. We'll see, we'll go back for our sign off. All right, there we go. Day 10 update, Arrow Garden, nine days of growing. The first, the, first, the reason the, Air Garden says nine and not 10, even though this is 10 update. The first day was the unboxing. If you are new to the channel, uh, we have this whole series. I've been updating the Air Garden every day, so you can go back. I will leave a link to the playlist at the end of this video, but you can check out the playlist. It goes from day one of the unboxing and setup all the way up to today, so you can see the, the progress of what's happening. And the goal of the Air Garden is to use the herbs in, in upcoming live streams for live cooking and demonstrations that we normally do on the channel. So it's gonna be a lot of fun once everything starts to grow and we can start to harvest these fresh herbs for the dinners and the live stream. So if you are new to the channel as well and haven't caught a live stream, we do live streams on typically Monday, Wednesday, Friday on the schedule, five o'clock mountain time. And you can join in, ask questions. We've got a number of regular regulars that show up into the live chat. It can be a lot of fun. We do healthy meals, we do snacks, we do, baking the odd time and uh, it's a lot of fun. So hope you can join, subscribe to the channel and also hit the notification bell. That way you will get notified when I do go live and you can jump on the channel and have a live chat. We do this, like I said, we do the scheduled channel, but from time to time I'll actually jump on in the kitchen live in you know impromptu live streams, doing a bit of preparation for the meal, that kind of thing. So it's kind of fun. So make sure you do hit the notification bell so you can get notified and jump on. If you're on YouTube, you can, Come on and, and join the chat. If you did have any questions about this video, about the Arrow Garden, if you have a question about anything to do with the Arrow Garden, I'm learning this as we go as well. So I really appreciate your questions. Leave me a comment in the comments below. I will answer it for you in a next upcoming video. And 
until the next live, you can check out this video, which is the playlist for the Aero Garden. Thanks a lot and have a great day, everybody.